Welcome to Premium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 46 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about sorting a grid view that uses object data source control and business objects. We'll be using table TBL employee for this demo. So obviously to retrieve data from this table, we need to add employee data access layer to our project. So let's right click on the project, add a class file, and let's name this class file as employee data access layer cs and to encapsulate the information that is present in this table tbl employee we need to implement employee class so let's do that and if you look at this employee class it's a pretty straightforward class with four auto implemented properties employee ID, name gender and city and with an employee data access layer class itself we need a method which is going to retrieve data from this table tbl employee so obviously we need to write a little bit of adio.net code here so let's go ahead and import some adio.net namespaces system.data system.data.sql client and system.configuration all right now let's copy and paste the method itself again we discussed about this method in the previous session of this video series and if you look at this method it's a pretty straightforward method um, get all employees so it's going to return a list of employee objects if you look at the implementation we are creating a list of employee object here and then using the configuration manager class we are reading the connection string from web.config file using that connection string we are then creating a SQL connection object and then we are building our SQL command select star from TBL employee executing the command and then loop through each row and convert each row within the table into an employee object and add that employee object to the list that we want to return back okay so pretty straightforward method here now let's flip to web form let's drag and drop a grid view control and let's auto format this let's choose brown sugar scheme now we want to use object data source control so let me drag and drop object data source control and let's configure this to use employee data access layer business object so after we add our employee data access layer we need to compile the project otherwise it will not be uh, visible here so let's build our solution okay now let's go ahead and configure this uh, object data source control let's choose our business object which is going to be employee data access layer and then within that we have got this method get all employees finish that and now let's associate this object data source control with our grid view control okay now let's enable sorting uh, by going into the HTML source and then within the grid view control I'm gonna set allow sorting attribute to true and then let's look at this when we run this you know if you remember when we click on that employee ID column it's gonna throw an exception and in the previous session we discussed about solving it by returning a data set okay instead of list of employee objects so if you look at the moment you know this method is returning list of employee objects in the previous session we discussed about solving it by returning a data set but in reality most of the time we'll be returning business objects rather than data sets and data tables so let's see how to solve this you know issue without using data set alright so obviously the first thing that we want to do here is you know we need to change this get all employees method to take in a parameter by which we want to sort the data and then return that okay so in this get all employees method I'm going to use an a parameter and I'm gonna call this sort column you can give it any meaningful name okay and then if I am passing in a sort column name here then basically I want to sort the data based on that sort column okay so if you look at the command here it simply says select star from TBL employee so I'm gonna take this command and move it into a variable okay so I'm gonna call this string SQL query is equal to that one and then I'm gonna check if this parameter if it's not null or empty then what we want to do is basically to this query we want to append order by class and then use that sort column to order data by that column so basically if string dot is null or empty which string is that the sort column if this parameter is not you know basically if it is not null or empty then what I want to do is to this SQL query so SQL query plus equals you know I want to append another string order by 
by which column do I want to order? I want to order it by sort column. It's as simple as that. Okay. So the rest of the you know code looks as it is. And here, instead of hard coding the command like this, I'm going to use that variable which we have just built. So SQL query. Okay. So this is the first change that we have to do. The method that is returning data add a parameter. Okay, based on which we want to sort the data and then return it to whoever is going to call this method. And the second change is on our web form itself. Within our web form, we have this object data source control, which is serving the data to the grid view control. And this um, object data source control has got um, an attribute sort parameter name. So which parameter of this method are we using to sort data? And if you remember, it's called sort column. So we need to specify sort parameter name to that sort column. OK. All right. So now with these two changes, let's go ahead and run this. And you know the grid view should be sortable in both the directions without any runtime errors. So now the headers are rendered as hyperlinks. Look at that. You know, it gets sorted in descending order and ascending order similarly name as well okay so what's going to happen when we actually click on those hyperlinks you know a value for the sort column is sent to this method and then the data is getting sorted based on that you know parameter value all right on this slide you can find resources for asp.net c sharp and sql survey interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day